film was called the Maypole Room, and the reason, of course, it was the 100th anniversary of the Maypole disaster uh, six years ago now, mm -hmm. and it was the second largest mining disaster in Lancashire in the 20th century. Mm -hmm. Because it happened, the Maypole disaster happened on the 18th of August 1908. 78 men descended this shaft to mine coal at 1900 yards below the surface of the earth. They were down a little over 900 yards on a descent at 10 past 4 on Thursday evening when an explosion ripped the pit asunder, killing 75 of them. And many of those people that perished in that disaster were from this region. That disaster left 42 widows here with 122 children under 12. And while we might think today that times are bad, but love was 100 years ago, in a region like this with 122 children under fatherless and the breadwinner had gone, but the devastation to it. Fire raged in the pit for days after, and the powers that be seen fit, the only way to curtail the whole thing was to close the pit, flood it, and leave those bodies there. And that happened on the 18th of August, 1908, and days following. This was May on the 21st of August. The first inkling of that tragedy was a telegram to Javistan Post Office, mm -hmm. a telegram for Anne McGrath, John tragically killed. John left Anne McGrath at Kilgallif. Kilgallif is where Mount Airport is built, very close to it. And he left her with eight children. When she got the message, she decided that she'd leave her kids there with the care of neighbours. She'd travel to William and try and locate her husband's remains. That journey would have taken Anne McGrath two days. When she got to Wigan, she was told that there were no bodies coming out, that they were gone. Nature was then to take its course for Anne McGrath. She suffered a nervous breakdown, and she ended up in the lunatic asylum in Liverpool. Mm -hmm. We do know that she was released in there in October 09, when she was then returning to Swinford to get a house and a bed for her and her children, halfway between Swinford and Chavistan at Colmore. And the last of his family died in Chavistan about 13, 14 years ago. So in some way that sets the scene for to recognise the role of migrant labourers, the price that was paid by many men and women in pursuit of that pound for the betterment of us.